These are the brand new AirPods 4. Look how much smaller they are compared to the AirPods Pro 2. They're freaking tiny and I just got them and they're engraved, if you look at that. I like to engrave my AirPods. Uh, these are $129 without active noise cancellation and they're $179 with active noise cancellation as well as wireless charging and Apple Watch wireless charging. So I, if you do plan to get these, I do recommend getting the active noise cancellation. These are the first open ear headphones where you have active noise cancellation and I tested them on a flight. They're pretty good. I used to love the original AirPods where they did not have the silicone tips, like these have the, the silicone tips right there. That's the AirPods Pro 2. Great set of headphones. But the new ones, the case is so small, which I'm scared that I might lose. The tips themselves, there's no silicone tip. So I do like that because it just feels more comfortable in my ears. I used to be in, in love with the classic air. So they just like slide into your ears better. Yeah, I do have the fear now that these might fall out, but uh, it just depends on your ear type. They have used tons of people's ears to kind of match these and make sure that they fit most people's ears. For me, they work well. I love them. They just slide in and out easier without the silicone tips, so I prefer having that. These are available Friday, September 20th, but you can pre-order them right now. And I did test the active noise cancellation on a plane last night and it was very similar, like in terms of how the audio sounded from my AirPods Pro 2 versus how the audio sounded on the AirPods 4, it was quite similar. I would say the bass might have been slightly deeper on these ones, and I don't know if that was some EQ settings or if I was like, I kept switching the headphones back and forth, it was like so subtle I could barely tell. The biggest noticeable difference was the silicone tips, like feeling them in my ear and not feeling them in my ear. The active noise cancellation was pretty spot on. I was surprised at how close it felt with both headphones. These do not support spatialized audio with dynamic head tracking, so there's a feature where you can hear the audio, like if I turn my head, it feels like the audio is coming from my device, whether it's my iPad, my iPhone, whatever it is. I typically turn that off because I'm always turning my head and then I'm like, what's going on? Or I'm not looking at the screen. So if I'm playing something on YouTube and not looking at the screen and I'm moving my head, it gets confusing. But if I'm sitting down and watching the TV, that's where the experience is amazing. These also have the H2 chip, so they support the voice isolation features. These do support head nodding, so I can nod yes or no. If you've seen the videos, if someone's calling you and you want to answer it, you can like nod yes or nod no if you're like, I wanna decline the call without pressing anything. They have the force sensor, so I can go ahead and press this to start playing. I can press it, but I can press and hold to activate transparency mode and then switch the noise cancellation mode. As someone who lives in New York City and there's a lot of loud noises, sometimes I like to turn on active noise cancellation just to block out all the loud noises going on. Or if I'm in an airplane, that's where I use it. And then if I'm at the gym or something, I'll use a transparency mode just because I want to hear the people around me just in case. Or if I'm walking down the street and I feel like the outside noises aren't too loud, I'll use transparency. The new AirPods 4 also have a speaker, so you can use Find My to play sounds if you lose them because they are small and you are very likely to lose them, at least I am. I love that the pros had this lanyard feature where I can, I bought this Falcon lanyard and now I can like put this on my hand and stuff and it's just an easy way to carry the AirPods. The new AirPods 4 do not support that um, and that's just because they're so small. I think they took everything out that was kind of not necessary. In terms of battery life, you're going to get four hours with active noise cancellation on these, five hours without, and then five hours with active noise cancellation on these. And then the case will get you 20 hours active noise cancellation and 30 hours with active noise cancellation. So there are some slight battery differences. They're not gonna last the full like eight to 10 hour flight, but it's probably good to take these out, put them in the case, let them charge for 15 minutes, and then you can put it back in your ears again. I've noticed myself not traveling with my AirPods Pro Max anymore. I just take the pros because the noise cancellation is good enough they're small, and if I like to travel with just the carry-on, it just makes it that much easier. One downside of the four is you're not gonna get the new hearing health features that you'll get on the Pro 2. So there's like hearing protection, the hearing aid feature, and the hearing test as well. That's only available on the AirPods Pro 2 coming out later this fall in a software update. I will be testing those as well as a whole bunch of other noise features, so subscribe and turn on your notifications to see that video. The last thing I wanna talk about is charging. They do support wireless charging. Um, the watch, the AirPods Pro 2, I can slide this on a MagSafe and it stays magnetized and won't fall off. Uh, if I want to use an Apple Watch charger, I can also do that. It charges, it stays on. Or I can charge via USB-C, which is the same exact features of the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation. If you get the 129 version, you will not get wireless charging on the case. You will get USB-C charging only. There is one downside. It does not support MagSafe wireless charging. So Apple Watch charger, it's, it's small enough and it will stay, right? Boom, won't fall off. MagSafe wireless charging, no, it won't stay. So I do have to, you have to make sure you have a flat area, but it still charges if you have a Qi wireless charger. Um, it just doesn't support MagSafe. So if you need, it has something where it like hangs, this won't stay on. Um, but the Apple Watch charger, because it's so small, I think it can't 
have MagSafe support. It's just too tiny. This was all filmed on an iPhone. I wanna try filming more of my content with an iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, turn notifications. We have future content coming with the Apple Watch later. Stay tuned, baby. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.